Now, from 41 NBC Sports, it's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Fresh Air Barbecue with Bill Shanks, Tucker Sargent, and Montez Allen. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the end zone. We're back for our 12th season to bring you the best highlights of high school football in middle Georgia. I'm Bill Shanks. Tonight, we'll have video from five games in our area. Montez Allen, our new sports anchor, will share his first game watching high school football in the Peach State. Our first game of the season is Houston County at Perry. Both Ryan Crawford of the Bears and Kevin Smith for the Panthers are in their third season leading their programs. Crawford's Bears were 2-8 and and rather last season and lost the season opener to Perry 23-17. And the Panthers went on to finish 6-5 and five and get a taste of the playoffs. Here we go for our first game of the year to Herb St. John Stadium for some highlights, a little bit of workout before the game for the Panthers quarterbacks. Here come the Panthers on the field. Great crowd tonight down in Perry. And let's get it out now. The Bears will get the ball first and start to drive a little bit. First and 10, Max Rigby, the quarterback, throws a quick pass to Corey Chasen for a first down to around midfield. Then Rigby leading the offense, handoff again to Chasen. Nice run up the middle to about the 38. Bears ran the same play again. Up the middle, handoff chasing. Nice run to the 29. They're moving the ball. Now first and 10. Rigby hands the ball off again to chasing. And he hits the hole and watch the spin move. What a great play down to 10. The Pelican Panthers stop him. Third and goal, and the Bears miss a field goal. Panthers get the ball. Lane Rucker throws slant pass to Marion for a first down, but Perry unable to move anything. Bears get it back. First and 10. Rigby again throws deep. Kaya Plummer. Watch this run. This is a pretty play right here. He is on his way for six points and a touchdown. Bears got this PAT to make it 7 0. Second quarter now, the Panthers will get it back, and the Bears defense is going to do the job on Lane Rucker. He's back, pass looking right at the four yard line, and the Panthers give it right back to Hoko. And uh, here comes Max Rigby again. Short pass to coming. LeSean Jarrett for a first down around the 30-yard line, 29-yard line or so. Now direct snap coming. Donnie Wallace does a sneak, gets a first down to the 20. Rigby again in charge of the offense, down on the 10, quick slant. Jalen Mills, first and goal near the five. Bears get a field goal to make it 10-0, and then the Panthers give it right back to him. Max Rigby again, another pass to Mills for a nice gain here near midfield to the 40 and out of bounds at the 38. Then another pass looking Max to the 25-yard line. Max would scramble now, again finds a wide open receiver, first and goal, but they would get a kill goal here to make it 13 to nothing. Houston County would win this game easily, 34 to three. The Bears will host Central next Friday. Perry will host Northeast. Now let's move to Freedom Field. Veterans hosted Upson Lee in the season opener. Here come the Warhawks on the field at Freedom Field. And here we go, a couple of minutes into the game of the Warhawks. From the Knights, 42 snap. Blake Etheridge hands off. Julian Barnes up the middle. Nice run to the 32. Now next play, Etheridge. Quick toss. Trayvon Shorter will run it out to the eight-yard line right there. Nice play. First down, game 24. From the five now, Etheridge to Barnes. He'll squeeze through to get the touchdown. Warhawks on the board. The PAT here, bad snap or something happened. And watch this, Daniel Gibbs is going to chunk it. He heaved it into the end zone for two points. How about that? Alex Reynolds gets it for a two-point conversion. Eight-nothing Warhawks. Veterans again with it again on their own 36 after a short pass to Barnes. And watch him go. And he's going to stop right around the 45 yard line for a first down. Ball from the 45. Barnes again. Watch this one. Another great run. Watch it tiptoe down the sideline. He's in there. Touchdown, Warhawks. The AT from Daniel Gibbs is good. And that made it 15 to nothing right there. Warhawks again with the ball from their own 32. Etheridge pass to Justin McCarty. And he will not go down. He's at the 46 for another first down. From the 46 down, Etheridge runs right up the middle. Nice play there. Boom to the 38. A few plays later, Kedrick Smith takes the snap. And the Warhawks 12 almost tricked our camera guy, but he's got it. Another touchdown right there. KG was good, 22 0. Veterans wins this one big, 48 13. Great start for Coach Turner and the Warhawks here at Blakely County next Friday night. When we come back, we'll have a couple of big games on the schedule, plus our game of the week and the scoreboard. We're back with more right after this.
More highlights coming up on the end zone. Tonight's catered meal for the end zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Fresh Air Barbecue with Bill Shanks, Tucker Sargent, and Montez Allen. Well, a year ago, Northside had a very strange season. The Eagles were 5-5 five and five in the regular season, but won four straight games in the playoffs to meet Lee County in the finals. They were a little too tough for the Eagles, but they still had a great year for head coach Kevin Kinsler. Tonight, the start of Kinsler's 10th season as Northside's head coach. They welcome Centennial to McConnell Talbert Stadium tonight in Warner Robins. Here we go for the highlights of this game where the Eagles and the coin toss there. And a little sportsmanship getting ready for the season. Always a great crowd there at the MAC. Northside starts it off, gets it going on their own 19. Quarterback Mason Ford, their new guy on the option watching. He's going to take off left side, pushed out around the 44-yard line, getting 25 and a first down. Later in the drive, second and 12 on the night's 30. Ford again takes and hits, watching, but scoops through and gets to around the 20-yard line. And then, you know, he gets 20 yards to 10. I mean, yep, nice run there. Next play now, shotgun handoff, Zakiri Hill. Runs to about the three-yard line. Moving the ball, ball control for the Eagles. They do it so well. Hill again, watching. He's going to score kind of easily, right? And it's 7-0 after the extra point. Eagles next drive, second 10 on their own 33. Four down, quick pass to number 23, Kalik Evans for a gain of 11. Then the option again, Ford. Watch he go now left side. He's going to get about 20 yards now and running that north side offense very well. Now the Knights, 26, Ford keeps it right side this time and get some running room and he's going to get down all the way to the two yard line. Nope, he's not in there yet, but Ford then would keep it and easily get in there for the touchdown. Six points, mixed extra point, made it 13 nothing. Second quarter now, Eagles with the ball again from midfield. Number four, DeAndre McKenzie with a run there. Now from the 44 yard line, McKenzie again for a small gain up the middle. Just running that ball, killing that clock. The Eagles do it so well. Same drive, fourth down, quick pass. Jalen Cephas, first down. Eagles would settle for three and would get three right here. Adam Lemon with the field goal, making it 16 to nothing. Eagles win this one easily, 46 to 13. The Eagles play Peach County next Saturday night. Just up the road and making it, Tattnall, the Trojans hosted Our Lady of Mercy, and we got there in the third quarter with Tattnall easily up 27-9, and there's six more points. Wes Allen with a long kickoff return for a touchdown. Then the PAT made it 34-9. Trojans got it back again, knocked on the door again. Demario Wilmore, nice run, touchdown for Tattnall. The PAT again up and good. That made it 41-9, Trojans out on top. Good special teams play here on the kickoff. As Our Lady of Mercy, the Bobcats had no room to run, and the Trojans absolutely say, you're going anywhere. Hold on, hold on, go down there again. Now the Bobcats try to get something going from their own 45. Nice run here, John Phillips. He's going to have a nice run to the 50, 45, 40. Gets a block and gets all the way down to the four-yard line. And then their quarterback for Our Lady of Mercy uh, is going to get it. Christian Burks is going to keep it right there and get it in for the score. Bobcats on the board, they would go for two, but watch this, Jackson Harmon has a nice play here and stops the Bobcats cold, he nips it in the bud, 41-15 to score there, and Tattnall goes on to win this game, 55-15, to Trojans are off next week. Hey, let's go to Gray, where they didn't see much football early on. It was the debut, of course, of Mike Chastain, the new head coach of Jones County, who left Warner Robins. But unfortunately, Howard and Jones County didn't get off and, and going until late because of the lightning in this game. Look at the rain there. Uh, there's a Doppler for you right there. And, and there's the lightning. It was a mess, really. They have finally gotten started in gray. And right now at halftime, it is 7 to nothing. Jones County out on top. We'll have the final score of this game on our website, 41NBC.com. We'll have our game of the week up next, Hawkinsville and Bleckley County. But first, here's our band of the week. It's time for the 41 NBC Band of the Week, sponsored by Zaxby's. Submit your video to 41NBC.com slash band. Hey, I'm Jay Davis, director of bands at Houston County High School and director of the Black and Silver Brigade Marching Band. This is my fifth year at Houston County. Very excited about our season. Um, favorite part of teaching band is just being around the students and watching them grow and mature as musicians and as people. And uh, just really looking forward to a great season this year. Yeah. 
band for the 41 NBC Band of the Week, sponsored by Zaxby's. Don't forget, you can watch The End Zone live on the 41 NBC app. Download today. Tonight's catered meal for The End Zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community. 41 NBC Sports continues inside The End Zone. Only 11 miles separate Hawkinsville and Cochrane, and both cities have great traditions for high school football. The Red Devils have a new head coach this season in Shane Williamson, who is in his 18th season as a head coach in the state of Georgia. Von Laster is back for his third season, leading the Bleckley County Royals. Last year, this was all Bleckley County as they won 42-6. to For this year's matchup, we welcome our new sports anchor, Montez Allen, with the highlights. Montez. Thanks, Bill Hawkinsville at Blakely County and our game of the week. Let's see if the Royals can dominate once again. Blakely County looking to repeat last year's performance in their season opener. They spanked the Red Devils 42 to 6. First quarter, 7-0 Royals. How about some great defense from Blakely's special teams? John Newburn blocks the punt. John Jenkins recovers it short field for Blakely County. Ten minutes to play, second and five for the Royals. Dominic Sassler takes the snap. He goes to his left and connects with Marcus Brown for the 23-yard touchdown, and it's 14-0 Blakely County. Still in first quarter, eight minutes to play. Red Devils trying to get their offense going. Kaysan Clark takes matters into his own hands. He turns on the Jets and says, peace out, all the way down to about the 15. A huge game, but Nothing comes from it. Blakely's defense stout again. Red Devils can't take advantage. They're forced to punt. First and 10 for the Royals. They're in striking distance. Javon Butler takes the handoff. He carries that one down to inside the 10. That's a 10-yard game. First and 10, ball on the seven. Under seven minutes to play. Arkenzio Hayes says, I got this, coach. Check out the block, and he punches one in. And it's 21-0 Royals. Still in the first under five to play, same score, Red Devils on. Oh, look at this hit by Blakely's County's Willie Chambers. He drills Alex Lumpkin. Red Devils still struggling on offense, 28 nothing. Royals headed into the second quarter. Second quarter now, 35 nothing. Royals second and 10, ball on the 37. Ty Williams, NBC, you later. Breaking tackles, breaking ankles. He takes it all the way to the promised land. 63 yards, that would do it. Royals going to win 48 0. All right, Blakely County dominates again. Back to you, Bill. For them, for sure. All right, the scoreboard is coming up, but first, it's the 41 NBC fan cam. Visit 41NBC.com to watch and replay all of tonight's highlights. Tonight's catered meal for the End Zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.